Hi, this is Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews, and today I'm going to bring you a movie review, and if you stick around to the end, you have a chance to win a free DVD. So today I will be reviewing Sasquatch on DVD. This movie stars Lance Henriksen, what does it say there at the bottom? Based on a true story. Oh yeah, that was definitely a true story. It should be illegal to put that on there if it's not really based on a true story. Uh, there's the back and open it up this movie came out in 2002 and actually they did a pretty good job with the the case and having the artwork inside a lot of times you know these cheaper ones they kinda have just a plain disc this has the nice Sasquatch disc and uh, you got your little sheet in here. Let's see, does it have the yeah chapters on the back? So overall, you know, really good presentation on this one. So you may be asking, why haven't you heard of it? Well, probably because it's terrible. <laughs> um, this movie is rated R, with an 86 minute runtime, and this is a horror movie starring a Sasquatch. So basically, what this movie is about is. Um, there is a girl in an airplane, and the airplane crashes, and they disappear. Now her father's some rich uh, executive or some or owner or president of some big business, and she had some some experimental new thing that he really needed, or his business was going under. So he goes in search of that. Plus, you know, he kind of wants to find his daughter. <laughs> But uh, it's pretty obvious he's mostly looking for this box, and um, once the, and they're they're kind of out in the mountains. I think they're in Washington. I'm not positive, but um, they're in the mountains in this remote location where people don't even go, and they're kind of like on a journey. And they they finally get to where the crash site's supposed to be, and there's nothing there. And they find that the the airplane's been dragged or taken to another location. And they are, um, and they're looking for the box. Obviously, um, that's it's probably the the majority of what the movie's about. Um, not not too deep of a story on this one, and uh, it, it was kind of stupid. Like at one point, they're trying to say the Sasquatch won't let them leave because they have evidence that there's a real Sasquatch, and uh, the editing on this movie was terrible. Between every scene, the scene goes black gray black and then the next scene like they, they didn't even cut it right um i've done i've done obviously video editing myself and um you know i don't know if they used uh, i'm assuming at 2002 they used a uh, computer software to edit this and when you put your videos together if you put them too far apart you're gonna have black between and that's that's basically what they did i don't know if they actually uh would have cut it by hand and <laughs> i don't know it it just didn't make sense, and it's like every single scene you just see black between each scene, and it, it gets kind of annoying. And then there's this one scene where they they wanted the video to flip around, but instead of having um, the camera do it, like imagine this is your video, right? And so uh, this is widescreen. So what they did was they just flipped the video. So as it's like right here, you have black here and black here, and when it's like this. There's a big black bar here and a big black bar here, and it just it just looks really bad. And so the editing, I think, was the worst part of this whole movie, other than the fact that um, it really wasn't very entertaining. And uh, so I, I definitely can't recommend you watch this one. If you're a huge Sasquatch fan, even you probably will be let down. This this is probably more realistic than the actual Sasquatch looked. Uh, in most scenes, you actually only see his face. But then, like, sometimes he just looks like a big, uh, hairy ape. And then when they do, like, close-ups, he's, he's only got, like, hair on his shoulders. And you can see, like, his arms are all black, but they're not hairy, and his legs, too, are just, like, they just, like, black rubber. <laughs> and so, all in all, it's a pretty bad movie. Um, it wasn't unwatchable. Um, you could watch this, and and but you're not going to enjoy it. So I can't say it's down there in the ones with the terrible movies. So I'm gonna give it a two, just because it wasn't it wasn't anywhere near the worst movies I've seen, but I still wouldn't recommend it. All the rules will be in the description below. Basically, you need to be subscribed to my channel, 
rate the video and leave a comment saying you would like to win a free DVD. Your choices are Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, The Dark Knight, or Night at the Museum. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.